Hey Red Bulls fans, uh, it's Coach Hester. Uh, just wanted to go over uh, our roster for 2020-21 um, and give you a little bit of information about each guy. Uh, we'll start with uh, Deontay Reigns. Uh, Deontay is from Anderson, Indiana uh, by way of Three Rivers College um, in Missouri. And Deontay is a fantastic person. Um, he really works hard and is so intent on getting things right. And he's just a, just a pleasure to have around. And uh, we look for him to have a great career here uh, for his last two years of school. Uh, Ashton Sherrill uh, is going to redshirt from us, he with us for a year, um, but he is going to be a major impact guy once he once he becomes eligible. Um, Bryce Long, uh, we're looking for Bryce to make some big jumps from his freshman to a sophomore year. Uh, he has had a great uh, quarantine season <laughs> in the weight room. Uh, he's gained a lot of weight, gotten a lot stronger. Uh, the game's starting to slow down for him, so we're looking for some some great things out of him because the kid's definitely a winner. Uh, Justin Williams. Comes to us from Emporia State uh, out of Kansas. Um, he's got one year left, but he is originally from Pike out of the out of the Mick in Indianapolis, so he's very familiar with most of our guys. He's a lot like uh, Bishop was for us. Uh, he can really put the ball in the basket. Uh, he's you know short, strong, and uh, competes really hard. So we're looking for good things out of Justin. Uh, Jehu Lafayette. He is a senior uh, out of Grenada and Lewis and Clark Community College. Uh, really came on towards the end of last year. It took him a while to kind of grasp exactly what we were doing uh, on the court. And uh, once he picked that up, man, he had a great uh, last 10 games or so of the year. Uh, I thought he was playing at, at a super high level. Uh, look for more of that out of him this year. He just plays with a lot of energy, a lot of passion. Uh, and he's a super great guy. Can't wait to, uh, can't wait to see what he can do this year. Uh, Lathan Falls. Uh, is a redshirt sophomore uh, out of Lincoln Trail College in Oakland City, Indiana, uh, native. He um, uh, is a shooter. Uh, we hope that uh, he can stay healthy and provide some much-needed spacing for our offense. Uh, that he is uh, he is a pretty funny guy. To get to know him is a, uh, a pleasure to be around. Lots of fun. So uh, look forward to three great years out of him. Uh, Jalen McKay is back after redshirting last year to rehab his knee, uh, and he is, you know, back and as as good as ever. Um, I think his junior year he actually was uh, all conference. Um, I think that uh, he is back to that form and probably improved a little bit with that year of you know seeing things from a more of a coach's perspective. Uh, so we look for Jason uh, Jalen to have a great. You know, senior year. Uh, James Smith, Bishop Smith's brother, um, transferred to us from IU Northwest. Uh, he'll have three years left. Uh, Jameson's a uh, much quieter than Bishop was, but uh, he can, he's also a great shooter, um, a lot longer and, and, and good defender. Um, you know, I think he's he provides a lot of, I guess, stability uh, in a lot of areas for us. Um, so we're looking for. Looking for really good things out of Jameson uh, in his career going forward. Uh, Jaleel Gilliam uh, is a senior. Um, be his second year here. Uh, Jaleel has a much better understanding this year of how things need to be done. So he, you know, is, is helping teach uh, the new guys and, and really improved a lot himself on his awareness of where he needs to be when. So, um, you know, Jaleel could, could be a factor this year for us. Uh, Joe Metter, a uh, freshman, one of two freshmen that we have, uh, 6'8", out of Fresh Franklin County, Kentucky. Uh, Joe, is, uh, Joe is talented, to, is probably an understatement. Uh, he's just got to learn how to play. Um, I think that his ceiling is unlimited. He doesn't really have one. Uh, but he's got to uh, he's got to gain some confidence. He's got to... Uh, just realize that his physical gifts uh, are elite and he has to grow into them mentally I guess uh, but uh, we're working on that on a daily basis we've seen great strides since he um, he has been here but uh, you know we are hoping that it comes sooner rather than later for him because he could really help us as versatile as he is um, this year if he will you know just focus and, and work on it 
Uh, Miko Bond. Miko is a uh, 6'7 guy, also from Lincoln Trail, um, from Gary, Indiana, originally, Bowman Academy. Uh, he is he has been injured for a little while, so he hasn't done a whole lot. But uh, one thing we do know about Miko is he loves to rebound, and he is probably one of the best charge takers we've had in a long time. Uh, so we're looking forward to getting him back and getting him uh, able to do the things that that he does because they influence winning a lot. Uh, Garrett Silcott, uh, Garrett's going in his third year. Um, Forrest, couldn't say enough positive things about Garrett. Um, he is definitely uh, probably the most bought in to what it is we're doing uh, as anybody we've ever had. He's a fantastic competitor. Um, Skill-wise, he's improved every year. He's added things to his game that he can do. Uh, he's become uh, a great defender. Um, leadership is, is what we're working on with him, and he's starting to get out of that shell. And when he does, uh, we will get better as a team. But I, I just look for Garrett to to have a great season this year, and, and I'm sure that by the time his time here is done, we will consider him one of the all-time greats that we've ever had. So, um, you know, just looking for some good stuff on out of him. Uh, Dalton Blackwell uh, recently uh, re-injured himself, so he's, he's kind of out right now. But before that, um, he – talk about winning the quarantine season. Uh, he really added a lot of, uh, a lot of muscle. Uh, he's gotten a lot stronger. Uh, he, he's increased his understanding of uh, our defensive stuff, which is the only thing kind of holding Dalton back. Um, and, and so we are really excited about – what he will be this year uh, so once he gets back to healthy uh, we will see uh, you know we'll see if that comes to fruition but uh, uh, really happy with where Dalton uh, came in at this year um, Nate Soltis uh, sophomore uh, from Cardinal Ritter High School in Indianapolis um, Nate is you know he's he's learning to He's learning that he's probably one of the best cutters off the ball in the country, and we hope that uh, he continues to develop that along with all of his other skills because he's a great guy. Uh, he's starting to show signs of being a, a leader, and we want that more out of him. Uh, but, um, you know, he is going to be a major factor in what it is we do, um, and we're really excited about what Nate's going to bring to the table this year. Uh, Tanner McFall. Senior, uh, be a second year here. Tanner came on late for us last year. Again, he's a transfer, so once he got more comfortable with things we were doing in game scenarios, he did a uh, fantastic job for us. But Tanner's very vocal. He's very physical. He plays very hard. He leads leads with his voice and by example. So we're be super excited to get him back. He's been coming off of a broken foot ever since August, so uh, he hasn't been out there yet. But once he does, we will be be excited for it. Uh, Jalen Barber. Our second freshman uh, that we have uh, from from Georgetown, Kentucky, went to Great Crossings High School uh, in their first year, but was part of the Scott County dynasty that they had as, as an underclassman. Uh, we went to three state state championship games. Um, and Jalen is another one that has a ton of potential. Um, he, he's got to learn how to play. He hasn't actually been out there on the court for a lot of basketball. He hasn't learned how to work yet. Um, but he asks a lot of questions. Uh, he's got to be able to learn to push himself uh, past things that he thinks he can't do because he, he's another one that, that has the skill set to really blossom as a basketball player. He's just got to put the work in and the time, and, and uh, when it happens, I think it'll be, it'll be special for him. Uh, Kyle Finch, uh, he is a junior um, coming off of a redshirt year where he had a broken leg. Uh, he's still trying to regain his explosiveness and his endurance, but uh, you know he's he's a wider body that that has a lot of just mature experience uh, on a basketball court that, that knows how to use his body and and um, he's still trying to 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 get to where he can play at the same explosive level he used to. Um, so he's going to be working his way back in as the year goes on. Hopefully that'll that'll come quickly. But uh, you know, Kyle's a competitor. He wants to wants to compete, won a state championship with Ben Davis uh, a couple years ago. So he's he's definitely a competitor. But uh, overall, you know, this this group's got a lot of new faces. We're really excited about 
about them. Um, they just have a lot of work to do before we're at the standards that we've set for our program. And, uh, you know, so it's a, it's a daily grind to, to get that to the level that we expect it to be at. But, uh, you know, it's, that's why we do this, you know, and no matter what happens this year, we're, we're, we're going to try to, our hope is that we're mentally tough enough to handle whatever situations occur.